What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we're going over three things really, really quickly so you can get on the water and catch some fluke. And these are the three rigs that I prefer fishing for fluke. First, we're gonna go through this one. I have a regular old leader with a dropper loop, and I have a hook with a piece of gulp on it on the bottom about, I don't know, 13, 14 inches below. I have a two ounce sinker. This is just because of where I'm fishing. One ounce, two ounce, three ounce, four, whatever it might be, depends on the rod too. That's what we're gonna have. So basically it's just a sinker on the bottom and a teaser right there in the middle. I got a long dropper loop, so this, is actually gonna sit down on the bottom. When I drop it down into the water, it's gonna sit and it'll let some slack and it's just gonna be working around in the current. And that's a really, really easy way to catch fluke, no matter where you are, if you have one hook and a piece of gold and a sinker. Next one. So this is probably the more fun version. That's with a bucktail on the bottom with a piece of gold or, and a teaser. So that's how we're working it. Basically works the same way as the sinker, except you can hook into a fish on the bottom as opposed to having the sinker and not. So we have a teaser up here on a dropper loop with a hook, a piece of gold, and then our main, which is a half ounce spike bucktail with a piece of gold on it. So third and probably the most basic is just a regular old bucktail. This is a half ounce spikes bucktail with a piece of gold on it. And that's all it is, it's a regular old leader with a spikes bucktail. And we're gonna be working the bottom with just one bait as opposed to having a teaser and a bait or a sinker and a teaser. So this is our bottom bait and that's how we're gonna work them. All right, so with the regular old bucktail, nothing else on top, nothing, just a regular old leader. We got the half ounce bucktail with the piece of gulp on the back. I'll link below where you can get these. I actually hand tie these and purchasing them off of our website actually helps us make these videos. So we're just gonna basically cast it out to our spot. What we wanna do is cast that bucktail out to the bottom. So in ideal circumstances, we're casting it out and letting it hit the bottom and you'll feel the little thud. You'll feel a thud in your hand holding the rod and the little thud, that means it hit the bottom. You're just gonna pop it up like that, let it get back down to the bottom. Pop it like that, down to the bottom. Pop it, reel it, pop it, reel it, pop it, reel it. You wanna keep that thing popping up and down so that the fluke can see it. You wanna try to maintain bottom as well. So every time you pop it, let it hit down the bottom, pop it down to the bottom, pop it. That's what we're going to do. And it's basically the same thing for all of the other ones, just slightly different. So now we're going to talk about the Spikes Bucktail with the teaser on top. It's basically the same thing. So we're just going to cast it out. But now we have a teaser on top. So now we got to play it like there's a teaser up there too. So we're just going to get it down to the bottom, ideally in, this, in a perfect situation. Get it down to the bottom and just pop it. Now we want to do slightly less pop so just getting it up off the bottom like that little twitches reeling it up get it down to the bottom pop it little pops because now we got that teaser up there so the fish are going to see it up on the top and now we got the bucktail on the bottom chasing the teaser so most likely these fish are going to go after the teaser because they are jealous they want what other fish have or want what other fish are going after so we're just working the teaser, but with the bucktail on the bottom. So for the third and final rig of this video, this is the sinker on the bottom with the teaser up top with the dropper loop, a long dropper loop. And uh, basically when it hits the bottom, we're gonna give it slack, it's gonna work all there. And then we're just gonna work up like that. So it gets up there, up there and down and up. So that's basically what it's gonna look like. I tried to show it here above water so that you guys could see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna give it all cast. So we're getting it down to the bottom and we're just working it like we were working the other ones. Little twitches, giving it little pops, trying to keep it on the bottom, but also visible since it's the teaser. And that's all it is, is working the bottom for fluke. They're flat fish, they sit on the bottom, they live on the bottom, they eat on the bottom, everything is on the bottom. So if you can keep your bait near the bottom, popping it up, that way they see it, then you're gonna catch some fish. So another tip, I like using the dropper loop where you don't actually tie on the hook. That way I can take the hook off when I'm done, throw the piece of gulp with the hook still, still on inside of the gulp bag or the container. That way I don't waste my gulp.
Now this has been a really, really quick video. We got a bunch of fluke videos on the channel already where we go in depth on try to catch uh, some fluke and how to teach you guys how to catch the fluke, rod, reel, line, where to catch them. So I'll link all of those in the description below, but they're also on the channel. So if this is the first video you're seeing from our channel, I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment anything that you have questions about below and hit that red subscribe button if you're new. Thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time.